Hello mga kabagetarian! Uh, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. For today's video guys, we are going to do the cash stuffing for my first paycheck of June. But before that, I'm gonna show you something new. Um, I, I did my own budget planning or I created my own template of a financial um, planner. So I hope you will like it. So you would see I have here um, multiple notebooks because I have different kind of notebooks. So ito yung finance planner ko guys. Ito yung first na nakikita niyo talaga from my previous video. Um, dito ko nilalagay yung mga budgets ko. Ito naman um, yung general notebook ko guys or general planner ko. So all in all, um, it's in here. So I printed out, by the way, my own template of financial. So this is some kind of summary. So, every end of the month, I will be doing a closing out of my budget. So, dito ko i-report -re kung uh, gano'n ba yung naging income ko for the month of um, June, July, and onwards. Saving goals and as well as expenses. I realized kasi na I have to do an end of the month report. So, meaning I will be evaluating how much did I income for this month, how much did I spent for this month and so on guys I also made my own tracking of my savings um, it's in here so I have a um, two type of savings long term and short term so for the long term um, you would it speak to itself guys so I will have like the starting balance um, and then the end of balance for each month this is where um, it will show me or will, will redirect me kung nasan na ba talaga ako sa aking savings goal guys. Um, meaning, may evaluate ko kung how long or how far um, I've been saving and magkano na ba yung dapat or kulang ko when it comes to my savings goals. So, this part, the, the short term, nakalimutan kong ilagay si medical funds, guys. So, probably next um, template na print out ko, mapapakita ko na si medical funds. But for now, I have a different short term that's part of sinking funds. I will be um, explaining to you the different type of savings I have. Then, I have um, different type of income, guys. So, so, you would see like five income. Um, let's see which one has gained more. Or, let's say, saan ba ako malaki ang kita? How far I am with my income goal? I have a different type of income goal, by the way, guys. Um, and I'm gonna share it with you sooner. And... Yeah, I love kasi creating my own template and printing it out. But I stopped because um, nasira yung printer ko. But now we bought a new one. It's a good thing that it can print out an A, A, A5 size of paper. So, I did try, try this out and it went well. Um, ang ganda kasi I can create my own guys. I can print out on my own that's based on what uh, specifically yung needs ko as um, finance uh, planner. So at the end of the month guys, makikita nyo kung paano ko siya gagamitin. So let's move on muna sa aking finance planner in where I'm putting in my budgets. Since it's start of the month na, um, so let's set up our June planner or June finance planning. Uh, first, you know that we have the monthly calendar so that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, guys, whatever I'm doing with my own budgets, it's for me, it's my personal finance. It's still up to you guys on how you do your budget. I am actually still in the trial and out, different method that I'm trying to see what really fits to my finance, fi to my financial um, journey. There is nothing wrong or right when it comes to a financial um, planning, guys. It actually uh, up to you because we have like a different type of income or we have a difference um, income so I belong to a low medical mid sorry low middle class um, income um, where I'm earning like around one uh, below 25,000 that's how um, being categorized so if you are higher than that 
or below than that so so dapat um you 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 could have a different kind of budgeting rule so there are different type of budgeting rule depends on your income guys and also with your needs so if you wanted to learn more about on budgeting rule i suggest to watch vince um video let me see if i can um, find or link his youtube channel here I've been following him because I've learned a lot from him, guys. That's where I've learned the different type of budgeting rule. That's where I've learned um, what type of savings goal or investment goal I should be working out. Most likely, guys, kung ano yung nasa um, general finance planner ko, um, I'll just copy-paste on this budget planner. Um, by the way, for this paycheck, I'm not planning to put in emergency and medical funds because uh, I will have to set up a budget for my son's birthday. I realized na tenth birthday niya, so it's I know I don't know. It's like a tradition siguro for us mommies that every tenth birthday it should be like memorable for the kid. So I wanted to make it memorable. Invite some and hopefully most of his friends um to sub- celebrate with us uh, i didn't prepare much on his birthday so what's going to happen um i'm gonna ano ba yan? um siguro i will rebudget my my money um see if i can pull up some from our savings for his birthday and moving forward i should be prepared i should be prepared that's what's the purpose of a sinking funds um but since my partner lost his job on march so parang nagsira-sira na but now he got a new job so thank god thank god that he he got a new job so we will be focusing and be still still working out with our um savings goals there are few from the budget list na hindi ako makakapaglagay ng amount guys um what i'm doing is i'm just exactly um adjusting my my income and then my budget um i'm adding nick allowance like a thousand because he um, he started to work in the office so he needs a allowance budget on that so i'm increasing so my total expenses would be 9375 um i'll just figure out where other money or extra money will go out and i'm hoping na okay yung budget guys so i did not put a family allowance for now what i did is to put my myself allowance because i go to work i've learned something new from my colleague nung nag withdraw kami ng pera from the atm guys um di ba na realize niyo before that wala talaga akong tag hundreds wala akong tag 50 at nahihirapan akong mag cash stuffing now here's a tip what i've learned from her is that when you withdraw don't withdraw a whole amount so what she's advising is you can withdraw like 900 or let's say um you're trying to withdraw one uh, one eight so for you to be able to get eight hundreds uh peso like we withdraw ka ng, let's say 900 and then do another transaction of another 900 so in total you are getting 800 not a 100 so that's actually a life hack that i did not realize and i'm i'm not sure if you do the same thing guys but i'm really happy that i've know i, I know that type of hack so yeah it's a good thing that i know that so let's start with our first um, envelope or cash stuff cash stuffing <laughs> so since i'm not putting any amount for the emergency and medical funds for this paycheck i will be explaining that in the next video um we will be moving to our utang or debt which is yung cell phone ko and then yung sa shopee credit so that's a total of 2900 good thing i have an exact amount that i can pull from the cash stuff next is we have the veco or electricity guys so i'm setting aside 1k each paycheck for that so a total of 2k for the veco guys or the utilities and then i give it to um my in-laws because we are 
living with them and then my allowance and nick allowance so no allowance for the family yet i will figure it out um on our next paycheck we'll rebudget as you know we're doing the testing guys whichever works with us so tatabi ko lang muna yung 154 nick and then 1000 for me so that's 25 we have the next one is for the grocery if nakikita nyo may laman pa yan it's because hindi ko pa na transfer yung amount sa um credit card envelope guys so i do my grocery swiping using my credit card and i pay out using with my budget then gas and parking 600 and 150 you know that we are renting out a lote sa katabing bahay because yung bahay namin is walang um, space for a parking so 150 for the parking and then 600 for the gasoline you know discuss my cut um, sa video because ayaw kong patagalin um, yung video so kinakat ko na lang yung mga hindi uh, usable or hindi informative or hindi naman talaga ka na kailangan and then we have the school tuition fee ng anak ko so 850 a month yan um, normally I put 450 on it or kung walang panukle 500 to be sure then part naman ng entertainment category guys is our Netflix so our monthly for the Netflix is 549 and um, for every paycheck 275 yung pinabudget ko from this category then as you would know from my previous budget i have spark that's our dog uh, it's a bully guys but for this moving forward i no longer have any budget to be put in for spark um because pina rehome or pina adapt ko na po siya it's a long story to to tell it's not about the financial it's about um just conflict with the neighborhood so i don't want to share it with you guys so for spark safety para hindi naman siguro siya maagrabyado um i don't care about the neighborhood <laughs> sorry to say this but pinari home kumula siya so we no longer have any budget for spark anymore and this is a sad story to say so no miscellaneous for now kasi wala naman akong extra. I know there is like 1,000 and then 50 and 20 is ata um, na sobra. So we have like an outing or company uh, outing guys or team building. Um, there is a portion that I have to, uh, to, to pay. So I will be putting that in our travel funds muna kasi sasama or isasama ko yung partner ko for that outing. Uh, to get to know more of my colleague, to get to know more of um, who, who are the people I work with, so it's a good, um, it's I think it's a it's a good idea that he will be joining with us. So review review lang muna ako sa aking budget guys. Meron talaga ako mga category na hindi nalagyan dyan. So you have emergency, medical, a family allowance, eating out, miscellaneous. Wala akong nalagay dyan. Um, Mm, maybe next next week check I'll, I'll do the I'll do the rebudgeting guys so let's see how it goes I will figure out kung saan ko ilalagay itong 50 at saka 20 um, probably on our 50 to 20 peso um, challenge saving challenge thank you so much for joining me and today's video I do hope you like it click the like button and if you have any family friends who is needing this please don't hesitate to share it bye guys I'll see you next time Bye.